Hello and welcome to another episode of the Free to Play. And there is a new event out there which we're going to try to be very active with, and I'll try to make a video every day or so for this event as we grind through it. As they have the Lucky Charms event, the After Me Lucky Charms. But it's three different phases. I can't remember the exact um, criteria off the top of my head, although they probably should be here in the event viewer. The first one, we have 18 days to do it. We need to accumulate 50,000 damage with to earn loot bags, and you get a bag every 500 damage, which then you can go and open on the website. You No, you cannot get it in the game here. You have to open it on the website. So watch out for that. Make sure you go to the website and get your, your loot bags. Also, if we look for future events, we have phase two and phase three. Phase two is kill assists with 750 and you get a, a bag every 10 assists with the last one being phase three and you earn 100 match score 25 times and this one isn't like an accumulating one where you just have to keep m accumulating match score it's earn 100 match score which 100 match score isn't that hard as long as you actively participate in the battle and you don't get derped right at the beginning and insta die you should probably be able to get 100 match score out of this and then you get uh, 25 bags there so there's a total of uh, 200 bags and if you get through 175 of them so probably the majority of the lucky charms one and then part of the two and three sort of thing you get a free champion mech of your choice and there's a big list and it's on the website and you can go see that and uh, get a free champ which is quite nice so i'll probably pick up a champ either that i i want to get or i might if there isn't one in the list that i really want i might just get a champion that is high c build value and sell it and take its engine out and stuff like that so we'll see what happens when i get there but i'm going to try my darndest to get this lucky charms event done so to start it off I'm going to go with the Assassin 21, and this is a mech, I, I've run this mech in the past, I don't know how long it's been since I've played this mech, but it is a very good one. We have four Storm 4s, five tons of ammo, a jump jet, and a light 280. Uh, you can definitely go an XL with this thing and make it go faster, because you can get a much, much larger XL with this. However, I don't know, I like the tankiness of the, having a light engine. And I find this is works well enough for me, but the, it is an option to go XL3 and then use this additional two and a half tons that you get to say get more jump jets and uh, how many jump jets can we take? Nice. We can take a lot of jump jets, maybe another ton of ammo or something like that. So this is also a valid design for it, but it's up to your whatever which one you want. I find this one works fine for me, so I'll run, we'll run it today. But yeah, we're just gonna do some SRMs and try to shoot some assault mech butts, probably. Let's see how it does in some matches. And for our first match, we've got Solaris City Assault. And we're just moving our way to the front, utilizing our jump jets, hip hop and skipping our way across the, uh, the rooftops. And uh, keeping up with our urban mech here. Now, the goal of the assassin is to be an assassin. It's so it's so self-evident. You want to definitely not take this as a stand-up fight mech. It's not that it's bad at doing that. It's just, you know, it's only a light medium. So, you don't really want to be in front of the whole enemy team. We'd like to find a nice, isolated person and circle strafe them and shoot them in the butt. So for now, we're just going to hook up here with our assaults and we're just going to follow him because I don't want to be alone. Because Kentaro is something. There was a light mech coming around that corner. Light mech here? Yes. Where'd this light mech go? I thought I saw him. There he is. Also, there's a heavy or something in the, in the distance, so let's get around this corner to not take those missiles. Let's see here. 
we're just tucking in. There's an enemy across the way at Echo 4. Up high. What is he? Huntsman C. Streaks and micropulses. Okay. There's also some people inside the, the the circle there. I don't feel like this is a good spot for me. Let's get out of here. Can I get out through here? Am I wide enough? Oh my god, I'm too wide. Okay. Uh, let's evac, evac, evac. Not a good angle for us. Let's go around Delta 4 and go in through there. Don't feel like that's a very good place for our team to be right now. Let's go take on this Huntsman. Quick as we can. Oh, those, those missiles didn't hit. But these ones will. Dive in on this guy. Properly cutting in front of my teammates there, because that's what I always do. Let's just continue on with this flank here. See what we can do. There is an assault back here that I want to try to go and eat. Because if I can, that would be a good thing for our team. Base is being captured. Okay, that's fine. That is fine by me. The Vapor Eagle has ATMs. So we can get close to him and then he's useless. Because if base is being captured, that means that somebody on their team is in here and we temporarily, it's like we have an extra kill. Oh, he's going to start turning around. Let's try to flip past him. Another hit in the butt. Move back around there and help take him out. Thank you, ally. Excellent. Alright, there's a guy back here. Assault. What is this guy? Nightstar. Also, we got a guy on top of us. Right here. Oh, we got all sorts of people. Let's get out of here. Let's just dive through here towards our allies. Just jumping every so often to give ourselves a little bit of bounce, make it harder to track an individual component. Our allies are hopefully coming through here soon, giving us some protection. Yes! Nice shot into the piranha, because piranhas need to die horribly, as they are the bane of this game. Another good... Oh, not that good. Maybe decent hit into him. Oh, enemy mech here. Run into this fleet. Knock him over. Come on. Why is it knocked down in this game? Oh my god. Why can't I have streaks? I want my SRMs to magically turn into streaks whenever I see a flea. Oh, that heat. He's doing the flamer things. Oh, did I get his leg? <gasps> that was magical. That was absolutely magical. And uh, goodbye, flea. <gasps> you bastard. You urban, you stole that from me. Oh. That's okay, though. Moving in. No fear. 10 to 4. Get this marauder. Get him distracted. Get him on me. Oh, all of his weapons are gone. He's just down to a few missiles. No, a few missiles. A few lasers. And we'll just do what damage we can. And he goes down. Good game to our opponents. Yes! I killed a flea. Well, I, I killed a flea. I'm going to say that that was an entire kill steal by our damn urban mech. Why do you have to take that from me, man? I earned that with that leg kill. My god. But we got 170 thousand sea bills out of this with no kills oh nine assists though two kill most damage dealt 320 damage done with 1700 experience excellent result for our first match so let us head off into the next match and for our second match we've got termaline desert skirmish i'm off in the e3 start uh the start is a little frightening you definitely don't want to push F5 unless you're like some sort of stupidly fast 160 kph of light. They can get over there and get to cover before people poke you. So I'm heading directly back towards my allies here. As enemies may come over that ridge line there if they decide to push into you directly. If not, the enemies that spawn back there tend to go through and hook up with their allies. So it's not like it's suicidal, it's just dangerous. But. We're with our allies. We've regrouped. We gotta see who is out there. And I don't see anyone. 
staring through this rock here, even though it looks like it's a gap. You can see it's got 13 meters there on my little range fighter. So that's actually a, a solid wall. So you can just use that little spot there to just stare at people and spot them without worry of return fire. So it looks like they all went down Fox 7. So it looks like they pushed Fox 7 into Echo 7. Yeah, they're all down in that pit. No, oh, there's an enemy still behind. There's a light in G5. It's like an LRM light in G5. Push it in. Yeah, this adder's dead. He's completely out of position. And thank you for coming straight to me. I will gladly eat you. There's another light here, but that's okay. Watch out for the other cheetah with him. We shall eat this guy up. Getting a little toasty here, we'll just do one by ones, or at least side by sides. Took an arm off of him, and his side is almost gone. We'll cosh. We'll comf. Well, God, I can't speak. We'll soften our land there with our jump jets, and oh, I thought that was gonna be a nice break from his side torso. Boom! Oh, we just derped him, and he's dead. Let's push around this side here and see if they've moved out. Nope, he's still down there. We'll get some hits on this hunchback as as he's in range. But it looks like they're focusing on getting out of there. Yep, we can push this guy. The majority of their forces are not in position anymore. So we can move across, use up our tankiness as we get over to here. And then start to move in on them. We're getting the cover to break the amount of uh, people that can see us. Just down to a couple. And then we're pushing them. And we're making it so they have to come to end us. got the Tempest. Not the best shots on this guy, but oh, he's an LRM carrier, so we don't have to worry about him too much considering how fast we're popping in and out of cover. He's not going to be able to get a good hit on us. We're just twisting our side off here as we're backing off, just so we're spreading the damage to our left torso and left arm, which are relatively undamaged. He's down. Excellent. We're pushing forward. You see this Huntsman coming around go right into him. Mm. That's not good. That's my arm. We're going to get around this corner as fast as we can. The enemy has uh, rotated around and is coming back in. So anybody caught in their path is going to get eaten as we're going to use our speed to uh, potato rotato harder than they can. Enemy UAV, oh, allied UAV giving us the information here. And now we are potatoing, rotatoing right around, right into this Mad dog. Mad douche. He's got ATMs. A slight bit frightening if he gets a lock on us. But should be fine if he does not. Marauder opened up my side. That's okay. We're gonna probably want to move from this position soon. But ooh, we took off his side tour, so there goes the majority of his firepower. Let's move out. bury our barrels into this guy. Try to get some more damage on him. Oh, we took off a leg. His mobility is gone. We want to get that right torso. He's streaks. There goes that torso. Come on, CT. Got him in the CT. No, he's not dead yet. One more hit. One more hit. One more hit. Come on. Give us a good hit here. Take him out, but I, I shut down. That's probably going to be it for me. Thankfully still alive due to my light engine. Let's keep on moving here. We are so toasty right now. Oh my god. And we're out. Ah, oh, that was a fun match though. That was good. We did 680 damage. That was more than enough fun for us. As all you have to do is take out that right torso and this guy will go down, Mr. Locust. 
but he is alone against four opponents, and that is not a good situation. The CT crit, and he is going to go down here at any moment, as someone will catch him in the CT. Good game to our opponents. It was a fun fight, and uh, we didn't get absolutely blown out, so I'm okay with that. I'm absolutely fine with losing, as long as you know you take the half the enemy team with you at least. But we got 150,000 C bills. We got two kills, four assists, with three Kimmel's damage dealt, 680 damage, and a thousand experience. Take a look at the team, and uh, we are number three by a very, very small margin. So I'm okay with that performance. Let's do one more match with this mech. And for our last match of the video, we've got Forest Colony Domination. We're scampering towards the center right now. Oh, a real question. Can I get up there with just one jump jet? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I need to get on top of this thing first, and then using it as a ramp, I need to full jump. Oh, yeah, you can do it. Oh, yeah. And we'll just tuck in here and wait. A nice and safe position for me to be in. Ah. Wonderful. We can get little peeks here. Oh! There's an enemy mech right here. Oh. Dear. How did you get up here? We're similar builds, though. He's 2 Serm 4 and 4 Serm 4. But I don't think you can get away. Oh, there's more. There's a Vindicator and Raven up top. If the team pushes right, I will push right with them. And we'll push even harder right. Yeah, there's lots of lights up there. Watch for light shooting down from the top left. Raven Bravo is left torso open. Let's push over here. Wee, oh god, there's too many people over here. Let's uh, not push over there. Jump back into cover. <laughs> there's an enemy way in the back. What is he? What is he? Is he LRMs? I can go and chase him down. Yeah, let's go flank him. Let's go get this guy. Let's go take care of him. Although we've lost two people already, that's probably not a good thing. Where did this guy go? Is he still way back here? Huh. I lost him. Oh well. We've done our flank. Oh god, there he is. He's still back there. Oh, it's a dire whale. Bunch of AC2s on a dire. How'd you know I was there? Somebody must have spotted me for half a second. Even just doing this and like entertaining this dire whale for this duration is useful. It's like a use of my tonnage. Because keeping him occupied with me is good. So that way he's not using his uh, weapons against the enemy. Every time I turn him around, that's a useful thing for our team. Because he's not shooting at my allies. Although, at this point we're 2-6, we're going to lose this match. But oh well. Tis... Tis what happens. And not like he can really pay attention to me now because there's so many other people that are coming in. Uh, oh well. It was not a good match for us, but we can't win every single match now, can we? Hello, assassin. You are a Serm 6 version of me. Oh, you derped me in the back. Oh well. We had poor results in this mission. And that's over. GG to our opponents. 
damn it. You can't win everyone, and I probably pay, played poorly there. I wonder if I could have um, been a bit more aggressive with the guys up top and traded with them. I wonder if that would have been okay. It's all hindsight now. 89,000 sea bills, got no kills, four assists though, 354 damage done, paltry experience. Compared to the rest of the team, we are mid to low, so yeah, we didn't do that well. But let us get out of here and go and see how much we've done on the event, as we just need to rack up that damage. So we could get a couple things here, right? I think I've done over a thousand damage between these games. Do, 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 do. Loading the event browser. Taking a sweet time and... Oh, that's a big mood challenge. I got something done in here, so let's, uh, let's claim those rewards. Hey, I got some MC somehow. And also for the lucky charms. Yeah, we got 1,354. So... We got our two bags to start with for our games today. And you just gotta keep on playing. We'll eventually open every single bag at the end and then see what we can get. And we'll try to get one of the champion mechs. And so this is a good opportunity to play your mechs that you know that you're good at for getting lots of damage. So you can just farm the opponents, play your LRMs, farm those thousand damage games, and uh kick ass. But that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching and good hunting.